Phew! That was a tough fight outside with that titan. Surprise titan, as it were. Now, let's get into the ruins proper, shall we? And this. I'm gonna zoom in a bit because I saw a comment that we want to see, like, more details. If I'm all the way zoomed out, that can be lacking. But I do like to be zoomed out more for the tactical purposes if we run into baddies. Thank you for the chisel and hammer. Also, nice and speaking of combat and strategy, let's be stealthy. A point of interest has been discovered. Is this the one? Give me a real challenge. Striding alongside the Inguifin figures depicted on this mural, you notice what appears to be Juana. Alright. So, if you're not familiar with the lore of Pillars of Eternity, Inguifins are like the um, ancient civilization sort of thing. That they um, used a lot of uh, um, crystals and such to power their civilizations. Ooh, Obsidian Flake. Now, we picked up... Was it a pet? Desert Worm Hatchling. Now, in the last game, we could, like, equip this, right? On our main character. There we go! We got little pets! That's gonna follow us around. Now, it's not gonna be used in combat, I think, but it does have a, um, buff effect. Plus five all defenses against the ground attacks. That's pretty neat. That was something uh, they didn't have in the first one, I believe. They were just for, uh, like, being cute. So I approve of that. Do we want to go this way? I think they're both gonna loop around to this big chamber over here. The Luminous Ajax Pillar. So Adra is the crystals I mentioned earlier. Magical things. What do we have here? Two remnants, three re revenants, and two scarab beetles. Hmm. I could try to use this as a choke point. Also, let me just do something real quick. There we go, we got a cursor now! That's been a bit of a while coming. So I want to use this little bit here as a choke point for these three. If I try to sneak hey in with you... They might flank me, but that's fine. I just want to make sure they're all in that little choke point. And we're going to try to focus down this Revenant. Didn't I have a nice buff spell on someone? Like... That's for him. Maybe the priest has some. You should have a buff spell. Suppress Affliction, that's not very handy. With... Draw, regenerate, plus its allies with the aid of a sympathetic soul. Hmm, I think that's an AoE, right? Yeah. Might as well put that on these guys back here. Try to uh, get that on everyone. Just in case they take aggro. This guy is sort of good at tanking though. And he's currently in defender stance, so he should be A-OK -okay for a bit. Now that they're all gathered up there, though, I would like to do some AoE damage. This guy should be popping up in to the range there while she casts. And Cards is doing something. So let's try to flank this revenant and take him out Show him how it's done. there we go and which one do we want to go for next I think we want to go for out. this one so this one might block the path for these scarab beetles you might notice that their like little reticule thingy is big although this guy seems to have um, ranged abilities that guy doesn't seem to be engaged right now that's good for me so I'll keep it right that way. I would like to heal you. Yes. And everyone should focus on this guy. What is this effect here? I hope that doesn't mean... I think it's loot. Whew. I thought it for a minute there like this was an undead so he'd rise after a few uh, moments again. 
some games do have that. And that is annoying. Quite annoying. There we go. Now the other scare beetle is also engaged. This guy might want to do something like a knockdown. What? Oh, he doesn't have the resource. A discipline. I could use second wind. Or wasn't... Wasn't it second wind? Oh, here it is. Empower. I would like to empower... This? Can I not do that? I gotta check this little tooltip here. Refill half of your expended resources or empower a spell. I would like to expel or uh, empower you. Right here. Let's go. Empower yourself. And then I would like you to knock down this beetle. Take him down. Mr. Priest, do you have any more healing? You do if you uh, get up close and personal. You got this one. That'll be a okay. Then you can go back to shooting him in the carapaz, carapachi, whatever it's however it's pronounced, in the face. Shoot him in the face. I like the big range card has over here. See, this guy has a pistol, so she's uh, more up close and personal. I could change to like a blunderbuss if I wanted more range. I think it's fine. Vessel bone and chitin leg. Of course. Easy does it. This guy also needs to be looted. Larvae. Alright, what do you have here? I'll handle this. The outer wall of this room seems to have buckled inward under a tide of sand and rubble. I don't think so. What about this one? Anything interesting? Cooler air from the fissure. Let's try to check for traps here. No, nope, it's fine. Give me them a gates. Oh, there's a door. Is there... There might be like a middle chamber here. So we probably want to go check out the other path. To make sure we've um, checked it all. Now this is just a lore book for those who want to read that. Not my cup of tea right now at least. Let's go back with a fast mode. And get out of stealth. Wait, what? Where did you come from? Ah! You bastard. It's not working. Who had no pen? Uh, so pen is good. Go? Pen is good. Basically ah! penetration, I think it is. So like this uh, guy has a um, hard enough carapace, or carapace, 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 carapace? That, um, I think it was one of the arrows, wouldn't get through. Ow. Are you not gonna have any loot here? That's kinda rude. There might be more of them inside here then. Always good to get some more XP for our party, especially this early on. Worth a look. Oh! Why not? Almost missed it. You failed! I don't think so. Dang. Why not? What about this one? Failed to disarm that one too. Do we want to use our thieves draught for that plus two mechanics? I think we shall. Can you take care of it now? Why not? Are you taking care of it? Good. And we gained the um, trap no as well. So that's great. Why not? We might as well pick up a few of those. Might be good for a strategic ambush later on. There's a lot of traps Why here. Not? So it was a good thing we had that potion handy. It's Any more? Now. Oh, and a secret compartment as well. There's probably more here. Show yourself! Why there not? we go. And probably one more around here. Now. Why not? Is that all of them? I think that is not all of them! Ow! Ow! Aww, she got injured. A wrenched knee. But where is it? Oh, she's got more than one injury. So does Kurt, actually. Everyone has some injury. Yeah. Let's clear this Why room. Not? 
and sure. then rest up just in case. So everyone is prepared for what's to come. I got this. I got. Aha! Uh -huh, that opened that up. Time to see. The mural depicts Wana and Ingwiffin figures gathered before a blue flame. Ominous. What do you have here? Watch and learn. This crocodilian idol is unfamiliar to you. Wana carvings along the challenge. offering bowl suggest it was once revered. I've got it. Ooh. And Griffin Brazers. Petrified guard, resistance to dexterity afflictions. I mean, it's better than non-magical stuff. This. Yellow means it's magical, right? Or it's a, a unique item. Let's see where that went. You have them. Do I want them on you? Yeah, unique. That's what um, yellow means. Blue is like a rare. And I think yeah, purple is like epic. I would like to put that on you. Nice. Yeah, got it. Then we'll check out you. I've got it. Ginswef berries. And let's have a little nap, shall we? We have a... Oh, we got some food we can uh, get out as well. So we need to eat or drink something to remove injuries and receive a bonus. I'm gonna... Ship crew, ship crew morale minus one. Can I afford that? Hmm. Minus 15%. Healing. E. E. That is not good at all. I wonder if these only apply if I eat them on the ship, though. The morale boost, I mean. Minus 5 accuracy, minus 15% attack taken. How long, though? Is that until I rest again? Let's find out. You get that one. You get that one. Constitution and strength. Hmm. Nah, let's just give everyone who needs it. That guy doesn't have an injury, so I don't even need to give him something right now. Because this um, morale boost doesn't need to get applied to him if that is the case. Let's rest. Minus one repair, X2. Can I check my um, ship? Let's pause here for a second. Character journal, ship management. Where is our morale? Medicine, water, 75. We got plenty of morale. Oh, and we get bonus XP. That might be something worth keeping in mind. Getting that morale up before we go exploring. Watch Piece of Aedra right here. You pushed her! Merla, she came after me! Silencio, the priestess's superstition got into your heads. Silencio is basically silence, I guess. Valia seems to be um, quite influenced by like Italian, like Renaissance society. There might be traps here. I have concerns. Nothing? My spidey sense is tingling though. Two more scarab beetles. Their back is towards us, which is good for me. I could actually go and backstab them. Let's swap to your melee. And our fighter should be ready to pick them up. Go attack. Found something. Come on. There we go, we got a nice backstab in for 47 damage. Although, they knocked down my warrior. Get back in there. Let's go. 
Make sure Card isn't tagging everyone, I was gonna say. It appears he is again. Let's lug it out. Almost. Take him down. And swap back to our bow. Finish this guy. Not what I was intending. There we go. And everyone go for the other one. Almost. Now who is getting this no penetration? Uh where can I see this? Mercenary fighter misses. Let's I don't go. think that's in there. I'm assuming it's you guys with the uh, missile weapons. So maybe we'll try to go stab him. No pen there either. Let's go. Well, that worked. No problem. And then you can swap back. I don't think so. Not what I was intending. Charge! So it appears this bonus is gonna last us uh, until we um, rest next time. So this guy still has the attack thingy on himself. That's real good. That could have been really handy for the um, the Titan. It's not working. But I'm sure there's gonna be another tough fight coming up here. More crafting items. I'll take those. Easy now. Got it. Now, do we have any more injuries? I think one guy had two injuries, right? No, it appears they've disappeared. Also, you'll see these three little blips here. I think that means three injuries and then you die. So it was probably a good idea for me to um, have a nap. What's gonna happen here? There better not be like another titan in this Aedra vein. Storms of Pokokohara. Consider it done. Lights and shapes seem to stir just beneath the surface of the Aedra, rippling past in irregular fashion. It appears the passage goes back there, but there's a thing to loot here. Watch and learn. One of figures prostrate themselves before a blue flame again. Give me a real challenge. Ooh. Five arcana. We should probably give that to our wizard. Which is full up. Oh, there we go. Then we can be on our way. What is that? Fireball and something else. No concussive missiles. And prayer for the body. Or was that not it? Might have been the crackling bolt. Either way, always good to have more options. Down we go.